deep in our body during respiration and other processes happening inside our cells generate oxidants usually the cell produces antioxidants to balance these oxidants but sometimes due to certain factors the oxidants keep increasing and cannot be handled by antioxidants these oxidants produce unstable molecules called reactive oxygen species ROS that can damage the components of the cell and destroy the structure the cell is now under oxidative stress this causes the lipid molecules called phosphatidylserine which are on the inner membrane of the cell to oxidize and flip outside but some cells such as neurons produce high levels of oxidants and don't die how do these cells survive dr siddesh kamath's lab at the indian institute of science education and research pune wanted to answer this question why is it important to study this because a lot of cells innately can regulate oxidative stress for example neurons immune cells like macrophages or even cancer cells these have very high oxygen tension and they have innate mechanisms to cope with this elevated oxidative stress we wanted to address this problem using a chemical biology approach and we didn't have to look too far because our colleague in chemistry harina chakrapani his lab has been developing such tools and uh, has done a wonderful job of characterize them the compound was designed in such a way that it gets into the cell it gets triggered within the cell and generates ros so there are two major challenges that uh, we wanted to address in during the designing of the compound the first one was that it should not be generating ros outside the cell and therefore we incorporated a trigger so that it gets into the cell and it produces ros only within the cell the second challenge was the efficiency of ros production so here we designed the compound such that it would be able to produce ros in a very large amount in the studies that we have conducted our compound was much better more efficient in producing ros compared to our competitors we developed really advanced mass spectrometry tools to study these in different mammalian cells with all these tools in hand we developed something called as a chemical genetic screen now what the chemical genetic screen enable us to do was to find uh, inhibitors that would inhibit enzymes which can metabolize oxidized phosphatidylserine in different mammalian cells now with all this information we finally needed to go in and validate these findings in different mammalian cells or in animal models and other things and luckily we had uh, the abc12 knockout mice available to us when the mice were put under stress the oxidized phosphatidylserine levels increased in both the groups then the levels went down in the first set of mice but the second set without the abht12 enzyme still had elevated levels of oxidized phosphatidylserine the mutations to abht12 causes a human neurological disease called farc which is polyneuropathy hearing loss ataxia retinal pigmentation and cataract what has been shown is that uh, lysophosphatidylserine lipids are involved in this process but our findings now show that oxidized phosphatidylserines might also be contributing to the disease pathology abc12 is known to be part of several uh, cancers including aggressive spreading cancers and inhibitors to abc12 might help curb this uh, cancer progression and pathology that is seen also a few autoimmune diseases have been linked to uh, oxidized phosphatidylserines the happiest thing for me throughout this entire endeavor was that it was a great team effort uh, we needed people with diverse backgrounds to address a question we needed organic chemists we needed biologists we needed people who knew proteomics lipidomics and all of them working together to address one goal and at the end when all of these things uh, culminated and we ended up with this really nice paper uh, that i think was the proudest and happiest moment for me so moving forward our goal is now to find uh, oxidized phosphatidylserines in tissues beyond the brain and immune system because these lipids are known to exist in different uh, metabolic tissues like liver kidney lungs muscles and the identity of enzymes or systems metabolizing these in different tissues is currently unknown